Hello! In today's video, we are going to continue the lesson Inverse Relations and Functions. In the previous video, we said that if f of x is a function, we can check if this function it has an inverse or not using the graph and from the graph use the horizontal line test. If the horizontal line intersects the graph of f of x in one point at, mo at most, then this function it has an inverse. And the symbol to write the inverse, it is f in negative 1 of x. The function f of x, it has domain and it has range. And if this is inverse function 2, then this one, it has domain and it has a range 2. The domain in the inverse, it came from range in the function and the range, it came from the domain of the function f of x. So, this is what we did last time. We check if the functions, there are two functions, they are inverses or not using the graph, and we learned also how to find the inverse algebraically. Today we'll continue our lesson and check if two functions are inverses or not algebraically. So f of x and g of x, they are inverses if and only if f of g of x equals to x and g of f of x equals to x. Let's see. Show algebraically that the two functions, they are inverse functions. So first of all, we have to check that f of g of x equals to x, we still don't know, and g of f of x, if it is equals to x. If one of them is not satisfied, then conclusion it will be they are not inverses. I'm going to take the first one. f of g of x, it's x plus 4 over 7, and this equals, we go to outer function f, and wherever there in the rule it's x, then we will put the x plus 4 over 7. So it will be 7 times x plus 4 over 7 minus 4 simplified by 7. It will be, and here we will simplify by 4, we got equals x, so f of g of x, it is equals to x. Now we will check the other one. So g of f of x, it's 7x minus 4. And this equals, we will go to function g, and wherever there it is x, we will put the 7x minus 4. So instead of x, 7x minus 4 plus 4 all over 7 equals 4 negative 4 0. 7 goes with 7, so it will be equals x. The conclusion is f of x, it's the, the functions, they are inverses. So f of x, it's the inverse of g of x. And g of x, it's the inverse of f of x. So the functions, they are inverses. f of x, the second function, g of x, it's a quadratic function. That's why here it is given domain, yes, because the quadratic parabola does not satisfy the horizontal line test. That's why here domain is given, that the function, it has an inverse. And to check if they are inverses or not, first of all, f of g of x equals to x, which means f of the g of x is x squared plus 6x plus 4, 
and this equals square root. Instead of x in function f, we will put the expression 4g, so it will be x squared plus 6x plus 4 plus 5 minus 3. Simplify, it will be square root x squared plus 6x plus 9 and minus 3 and this it will be equal square root x squared plus x x plus 9 it came from x plus 3 square minus 3 they said that x it is greater than 3 here yes so square root on both of the sides will take it x plus 3 minus 3 simplify by 3 it will be equals to x so we will obtain that f of g of x it is equals to x now we will check the other one g of f of x check it if it is equals to x so it will be g of f of x is square root of x plus 5 minus 3 and this equals we go to function g and wherever there it is x instead of x we will put this expression so it will be square root x plus 5 minus 3 all of it square plus 6 square root x plus 5 minus 3 plus 4 and this equals we'll apply the binomial special binomial rule so it will be x plus 5 3 times 2 6 so negative 6 square root x plus 5 and negative 3 square x plus 9 positive 9 distribute to remove the bracket so plus 6 square root x plus 5 6 times negative 3 negative 18 plus 4 Simplify equals x 5 plus 9, it's 14, plus 4, 18, and minus 18, it is 0 here. So, also f of g of x equals to x, which means the two functions, they are inverses. Graph each function, apply the horizontal line test to determine whether its inverse function exists. So, f of x, it's a quadratic function. And x, x squared plus x, x plus 9, it came from x plus 3 squared. The y-intercept... It will be 9 and the x-intercept it will be from x plus 3 it will be negative 3 0 a coefficient it is 1 which means greater than 0 which means parabola opens upward so then I will sketch the graph. The vertex, it will be, let's say this is negative 3. And let's say this is the 9, it's the y-intercept. So this is going to be the graph of the function. Now apply the horizontal line test. The horizontal line will intersect the graph in two points, which means that f of x does not have an inverse.
f of x is 3x minus 8. So this is a linear function y equals mx plus b in which the slope it is 3 to 1 and the y-intercept it is negative 8. So then we will graph it. So the y-intercept negative 8 slope rise 3 and run 1. Let's say this is our function. It's not, I didn't draw it correct. Yeah. So the inverse to find it, it will be, we said to find the inverse, first of all, in, instead of f of x, we put the y. And this equals 3x minus 8. Switch the place between x and y, so it will be x equals 3y minus 8. Solve for y, so x plus 8 equals 3y over 3. It will be y equals 1 over 3x plus 8 over 3. Now, the f of x Check it if it has an inverse or not. Draw the horizontal line. This intersects the graph in only one point. So it means the graph, the function, it has an inverse. And the inverse, it will be this one. I'm not going to continue graphing, sketching here because my graph does not have units. And definitely my, it will not, is not going to be correct. But as long as the function f of x, it has the inverse, when we will graph them, in the middle of these two graphs, we have to find the y. We will find, in fact, y equals 2x. To find the inverse, instead of f of x, we put y equals square root x plus 4. Switch the place between x and y, so x equals square root y plus 4. Solve for y, so square both of the sides. It will be x square equals y plus 4. Minus 4 on both of the sides. It will be y equals x squared minus 4. So the inverse of the function, it is x squared minus 4. The function domain for f of x, it is x greater than or equals to negative 4. This is the domain and the range y, it will be greater than or equals to 0. So then the inverse, the domain it will be x greater than or equals to 0. And the range y values, they will be greater than or equals to negative 4. x is for domain and y is for the range. So y equals 5 over x minus 6, in which x does not equal to 6. Switch the place between x and y, so y equals 5 over x equals y minus 6 over 1, cross product, it will be xy minus 6x equals to 5. Solve for y, so plus 6x. And everything divided by x. It will be y equals 1. It will be 5. plus 6x over x. We can write it like this. This is going to be the inverse. In which the domain, 
x not equals to 0. So the domain of f of x will become range and the domain in, in inverse, it will be the range in here. Show algebraically that the two functions are inverses or not. First of all, we have to check if f of g of x equals to x. So it will be f of g of x is 3 minus x over 6. And this equals, we go to function f. And wherever there it is x, we will put the 3 minus 6 over 6. So it will be negative 6 times 3 minus x over 6 and plus 3. Simplify by 6. Distribute the negative. It will be equals negative 3 plus x plus 3. Simplify by 3 equals to x. So f of g of x equals to x. Now we have to check if g of f of x, g of f of x, it is x. So it's g of f of x, it's negative 6x plus 3. And this equals, we go to function g. So instead of this x, we will put the negative 6x plus 3. So it will be equals 3 minus, open bracket, negative 6x plus 3 all over 6. And this equals 3. Distribute the negative. So negative, negative plus 6x. Negative positive minus 3 all over 6. 3 minus 3 is 0. 6 it goes to 6 and all equals to x. It means that the two functions, they are inverses. We found that f of g of x, it is x. And g of f of x, it is x which means that the function f and g, they are inverses. f of g of x, we have to check it if it is equals to x. So it will be f of g of x is square root 5 minus x over 3 and equals, we go to function f, and wherever there it is x, we will put this value. So it will be negative 3 square root 5 minus x over 3 all square plus 5. When we will square it, the root will disappear. So it will be left 5 minus 6 over 3 plus 5. Simplify by 3, negative distributed, it will be negative 5 plus x plus 5, simplify by 5, equals to x. So f of g of x, it is equals to x. Now we have to check the other one. g of f of x equals to x. And g of f of x is negative 3x squared plus 5. So we go to function g. And instead of x, we will put this value. It will be equal square root 5 minus negative 3x squared plus 5 all over 3, and this equals square root, negative 5, distribute the negative to remove the bracket, 
So it will be plus 3x squared minus 5, this is positive 5, over 3. 5, it goes with 5. 3 goes with 3, equals square root x squared. We have x greater than 0 condition, so square root of x squared, it will be equals x only. So g of f of x equals x also, the two functions, they are inverses. Thank you.